everybody doing? God bless everybody that is watching. Wendy, Wendy right here. Uh, we decided to come over here to this particular place. I was in Ensenada uh, a few moments ago. And I decided to stop over here to show you guys how beautiful our country is in some, in some beautiful places, man. We are, you know, so gifted. But under this, you know, corrupt government that we always had, it's so sad that it's destroying, you know, commerce and it is destroying through capital capitalism, like these particular places that they are beautiful right here. This is El Mirador, that is kind of like a translation, uh, the lookout. It is a beautiful place where they installed a pier where it has, you know, a bunch of, you know, places where you can, you know, sit down and enjoy the view and enjoy, you know, this beautiful atmosphere. It is beautiful right here. It's in the middle of a highway right here. And I will be this Friday, I will be making a short film short, you know, 10 minute uh, film about this particular place as I will be recording, you know, uh, during the week along our beautiful state of Baja and also in the beautiful city of Ensenada. How's everybody doing? Oscar Blue right here for Border Network News and America's Boys News and different outlets. Thank you so much for joining in easy question that I will ask the live feed and I will ask the people that they are joining in. Do you think the 130 million given by Kamala Harris to the government of Mexico it is going to be used accordingly? Do you think that the government of Mexico is going to use those 130 million to help the labor and the low class people uh, in, you know, in our country of Mexico. Do you think that? Do you think that? We are under the assumption that 130 million is a lot of money. And the most important thing is, is it going to be used on the Mexican people? I already said to a lot of people, and I have comparable evidence, that the United States of America has also, you know, gained a lot of profit from the exportation and importation that is being done into our country. The United States makes a lot of money out of true capitalism that exists between Mexico and the United States of America. It is a reality and it's a truth that is nowhere to lie about it. But the most important thing right here to ask, it is, is it going to be used accordingly? Is it going to be used strategically to help the poor people of our country and the low class people. That is the number one thing. And as we know, this president that we have right now in our country of Mexico, ultimately it is already been, you know, Muslim famous to understand and to make everybody understand that Mexican people are not his priority. The Mexican people are not first. It's already been comparable. It's just, everybody knows that. But let us see if he uses specifically this 130 million. This 130 million for the low income class, social class. Low income social class. That's the number one Sorry about that. That's the number one priority as I'm walking up the stairs. This is a beautiful view, man. I will look at this. Look at this right here. Hi, man. Beautiful view. Our country of Mexico has so many, so many rich places. But our government does not invest on these kind of places. Look at this. Look how high this is, man. How beautiful this is. Look at all these places right here. So, the re one of the reasons why I came over here is that 130 million, 
these are the businesses that they're abandoned mom and pop businesses on tourist areas that our government needs to invest on our people low income low class families to have a profitable and a better life and you see that these kind of places they're abandoned look at this imagine having tours having music having food restaurants this place back in the 90s it was full and it was packed with people restaurants and everything now our corrupt governments have destroyed these kind of a beautiful places the day give a better name to our country it's beautiful this is why my number one question to every single one of you is the government of Mexico is it going to invest the 130 million that Kamala Harris just go, is going to give to Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador is she going to really invest on the 130 million if she going if Andres Manuel going to invest the 130 million on the low income population that's the number one thing and it's a thing that makes you wonder and it is another thing that it makes you understand that it leaves you without doubt and it makes you wonder if they actually if they actually will help our poor people as the rich get richer and the poor get poor in these places like El Mirador they're supposed to be incredible businesses capitalist mom and pop businesses for you know for our state for our state and for our beautiful country they're abandoned you see guys right here you know families coming over here all the way to the top I will be doing a special show that for the followers of buy me a coffee I will show it on Friday for you guys so be sure to be a supporter and to join on Friday as I will show a specific video of these particular places they're beautiful man they're absolutely gorgeous but this is this is this is where I'm this is where I'm going if you have 130 million and you're investing jobs why don't you build more jobs a better infrastructure for our people more security better jobs in these particular places that they're so valuable and so rich why you're not investing on our number one priority that is our people god bless you all i will be doing some photographs and taking some film right here stay safe follow my partner real Anthony Aguero my god I'm getting censored <laughs> it's okay it's all right man you know it happens it happens Facebook is like this man you know Facebook is intense to uh, to censor you know people it's a beautiful place and it is abandoned it's so it's such a such a beautiful place and it is back in the 90s in the 80s this was this was the spot for you to come on the weekend and enjoy your family you can actually put a picnic right here you know have the family right here in all these places put some grill you know make some chicken grill carne asada tacos and enjoy the weekend on this particular place there was music there was you know stores 
now it's all abandoned. It's just a place for people to walk through and take pictures. That is not profitable for us. What is profitable is to create jobs. To create jobs. So those 130 million, are they going to be invested on places like this? Around our country of Mexico? Question. Follow my partner, Real Anthony Agüero, and also you can follow me as Oscar Blue. You can follow me at Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Telegram, and also Rumble. God bless you all. Stay safe. And like we always say, people, peace and love. Because always your country's first. God bless.